The 18th of May 1943. U-606 having recently completed the rescue of a Kriegsmarine high official who was impounded on a ship in the neutral port of Vigo and having successfully evaded numerous task groups sent by the Royal Navy were able to get him back to the port of La Rochelle and back into the BDU. Before U-606 can set to hunting further merchant ships in the Black Pit in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, another top mission has been assigned to her crew. U-606 is to head southwest to the Caribbean to do an attack on the oil refineries on the coastline of Aruba. The small islands of Aruba and Curacao, about 27 kilometers north of Venezuela, host one of the world's largest allied oil refineries. Since the demand for oil by the allies is increasing, the disruption of the supply would force them to limit their operations and would become a vital step to victory for our U-boat forces. Recognizing this, the Kriegsmarine, after consultations with the best U-boat skippers, came up with a plan to strike the oil refineries located on these islands. To complete this trip successfully and be able to return home, we will need to be able to rendezvous with one of the milk cow resupply submarines to be able to refuel to make the perilous journey back to the home port of La Rochelle. Hi everyone, welcome back to U606's weekly patrol log. Here we are. It doesn't look any different. But these are the warm Caribbean waters. It's actually just coming in early morning, as you can see. The sun is not quite up yet. Um, the water looks dark, but that will brighten up soon. If we hop on the Uzo, there we go. With the the range of the Uzo we can see, there's uh, the oil refineries there, the port of uh, Ruba, and this is what we need to strike and do some damage. There is a, an alarm, is that just because we're nearing our target or have they spotted smoke on the horizon? I have not heard any calls out for any shipping, so it could be just that we are close. So you got some palm trees, look at this. Let's check the um, the water line to see if they've got any ships. Some trucks over there. Nothing obvious at the moment, but they may have some uh, small defensive ships with cars moving back and forth. Um, so let's get the uh, the crew to the guns, and we will start to do our bombardment of this facility in a short while. Okay, we've got uh, Johannes Muller on the, the deck gun. Let's um some high explosive loaded. Get these uh, oil storage tanks, etc. In uh, uh, on fire. Uh, what are we looking at here? Are they the storage tanks? The little the domes at the back. We've got these white. I don't know what they are. Let's give these um. I don't know where that went. I think it's the domes at the back, isn't it? Got a hit on that one. Didn't see where that shell went. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Boom. That was it. That was it. That's. We know what our targets are now. Just keep an eye out for any ship or anything so it is those what about these these are storage tanks aren't they they look like natural gas storage tanks so I'm sure these are oil as well boom there goes another when you got 20 odd high explosives Boom, that's, a, that's the minimum amount of damage we need to do, but let's try and really hit this facility. Oh, that one went straight up the first time. There's a truck there. See, it's a little bit choppy. 
Alright, let's continue to um, do as much damage to these oil refineries as we can. Yeah, this is going to be... Wow, a couple of oil tankers, you know, how much we love oil tankers. We can destroy this much oil before it even gets put on the tankers and sent over to Europe, then uh, we are laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah. Right, get as many of these as we can. We've got 14 high explosives left. All these tanks here as well. Boom, he's gone. He's gone. Trying to get as much of this oil destroyed, contaminated, and burning. There we go. Thought that wasn't going to go pop, but it did. So I'm not sure what these white sort of buildings are. Right, I think we can probably go and stop there. I just imagine there'd really be huge funnels of black smoke going into the air and the whole um, sky being blotted out with black smoke. A real acrid smell in the air. Two more high explosives. Plenty more oil tanks to, to hit. We'll get some armor piercing going, see if they'll do the job as well. Yeah, two armor piercing seems to do the job nicely. I'm expecting some sort of defense craft to come whizzing out of a port nearby. But um, for the moment, we are free to gun. Nice. Oh, covered in a wave then. Right. Are these white tanks? They they storage tanks as well. Put a couple of shells into that and we'll check that one out. Yeah, they are. Okay. Everything is storage tank apparently and pretty much everything is combustible. Which makes our gunner's job a lot easier. Now, we, um, we've we used a lot of fuel getting here, as you would expect. If we really eked out, we might actually, on a dead straight course back home, might be able to just about make it back. It'd be incredibly tight though, but there is a U-boat, a resupply U-boat, heading its way towards us. Uh, and that hopefully should be there in a day or so. So by the time we turn around and um, look to attack um, any shipping or anything, we should be uh, safety refueled, etc. So what I might do is um, wait until we've uh, refueled, and then we can head up the um, American seaboard, perhaps, or head into the Gulf of Mexico looking for some more oil tankers. Yeah. That would be good. We want to start getting our tally up. We have got no campaign per se. This this is a single standalone mission, not part of a campaign. But either way, it would be good to good to get that. All right, thirty shells left. What I might do is just finish off these. Um. Storage tanks here. 
I might call that a day. We might need these shells to finish off a couple of warships or merchant ships which haven't quite finished sinking. I think I may have just skipped over. Okay, we've started to head away from the port now. We might as well just finish off a couple of these. We got um, a message to say time to leave the area, so we'll do that before we can get a, a significant allied force response. Oh, I think I went over the hills and far away. Nice. Quite, quite satisfying to see all these uh, oil storage tanks going up. They'll be burning for days, no doubt. Alright, that's that part of the uh, the map cleared down. Alright, I think we can stow the deck gun and start making our way from Aruba. Fantastic. Let's see if we can hook up with this milk cow submarine and get some more fuel on board. Oh, alarm, alarm, alarm. Funnel smoke has been spotted. Oh, uh, wouldn't you know it. The Royal Navy has sent a response. There's a destroyer. No, there's two destroyers and a corvette. Well, okay. Let's take us down. Okay, uh, we're trying to head around the island, and it seems that these destroyers are following. Well, a destroyer and a corvette. Oh, there's the second destroyer. There we go. So yeah, all three ships seem to be coming for us from that, uh, following us around the uh, the corner of the island. Seeing so, some, some of the town there. Now, what we need to see if there's anything in the side of in front of us which might cause a bit of a problem. Uh, hopefully not. We can um, prefer enough a way that we can put the uh, periscope up reasonably high without too much fear of being spotted. Okay, it seems clear ahead for the moment, which is a good thing. Okay, moment of truth. We were able to um, sleek away from those three ships. They didn't really... I think it was just happen chance that they were following us around the uh, the top of the islands um, so they, they kind of did a patrol and then headed back so they didn't know we were there which is a good thing so we're sailing on and uh, it's now time to see if our resupply submarine is A still alive and B in the location where we ordered it to be I'm a little nervous right so Yoko Maida is uh, sending the resupply request now. Hopefully the sub is there. Hopefully it's intact. Um, nearest resupply opportunity is possible at DQ7 Square. Please move to this area and send a re request again to receive rendezvous coordinates. DQ7. Okay. Okay. If we have a look here, we are down here. Um, here's here's Aruba, which we've just attacked. Here's the, obviously the Caribbean Sea. So DQ7 is the hell is DQ7? It's there. Okay, it's not a million miles away. That is 2,000 kilometers. Thankfully, at this speed, which is which is crawling pace, um, we can do 1,100 
well, almost, sort of 12,000 kilometers. So if we did this pace, which is three knots, we might be able to get all the way back to base. But um, let's head up to DQ7 then, get a resupply of fuel, and then maybe we'll go hunting up here on the uh, Eastern American seaboard. We don't have a mission for it yet, but, well, we might as well have some fun. Right, we're just coming into DQ7 now. No obvious signs of any shipping or another submarine in the area, but she could be submerged. Um, or she could be just over the horizon. So we'll go down to our radio man and make sure he can read out the resupplies signal to see if we can get a rendezvous coordinates. Because uh, we are running short on fuel now, so yes. Thank heavens they're, well, they should be here. But um, I won't relax until we've actually got a full tank of fuel again. Right, let's request for a second time. Fingers crossed. This all goes rather well. Right, resupply is currently possible. Yes, at U493. Rendezvous coordinates 20. 05 North, 51 43 West. Supply ship will wait there for one day. Coordinates added to the map. Happy days. There she is, U-493, our resupply submarine. Oh, it's so good to see her. Right. Let's, um, under the cover of darkness, which is perfect, let's get this resupply underway. Supply ship. It's a friendly supply ship, often called a milk cow by a U-boat cruise. We can send our people to it to communicate with its crew and order resupplies. Let's send a delegation then. Right, let's send the captain for once. We'll send an engineer. And we'll send uh, the radio guy as well. Plus the six guys. And we'll send them all aboard. The supply ship. Skipper of the supply ship warmly greets you, your delegation on board U9. Sorry, 493. He then starts with introducing himself as Alfred Vernicki and invites your crew to taste freshly baked bread on their ship. Oh yes, they did have bakeries on board, didn't they? Incredible. Ask how the service is going, see the cargo, transfer survivors who haven't got any potential ship. Right, let's ask how the service is going. Alfred makes a hard sigh and tells you that it was a hard mission for them. They already managed to resupply two other U-boats. At the second try, they were attacked by the aircraft and two of his men died. He explains that they were still young men, great sailors and even better people. He stopped there and suddenly becomes very sad. We're sorry for your loss. Anyway, let's see their cargo. What are they got? Oh, they got fresh bread. Cheese. All hail the cheese makers. Debt gun ammo. Oh, hell yeah. We'll get some debt gun and ammo in. Nice. Flak we are pretty much stuck on. Fuel is obviously the key one. Let's get all the fuel. Uh, torpedoes, we haven't fired one. We haven't got that much in torpedo options anyway. And in items. Ah, oh, the, the diving suit and the usual stuff. Okay. Okay, it's just the fuel really we need. Although I am tempted to get... Oh, the bread's gone. That's only a one-off offer of bread, it would seem. Okay, let's get the uh, refueling done, and we can be on our way. Right then, resupply has been complete. Look at that, a full tank of gas. Happy days. Thank you, you 493. Much appreciated. You go about your travels. Stay safe. And we're going to head up to the eastern seaboard of America. Hi, everyone. Right, the alarm's going off. That 
That is American soil. Yes, we have actually... Holy crap. Okay, let's go depth. Right, sorry, here we are, we're back. Uh, now that we've dived down to periscope depth. Yeah, so this is the port. There's a lighthouse there. This is the port which goes in, well, the water which goes to the port of New York City. New York, New York, so good they named it twice, all that good, good stuff. Um, and we've got a lot of American ships just parked up here, and other ships as well. Um, it's going to be a bit of a turkey shoot by the looks of it. There's a destroyer over there, but I think we um we just try and enter the torpedoes and see what we can hit. So first off, we've got an American ship over here. Um, looks like a is that a C2 freighter. Oh, they don't have those today, so it's going to be a um a Liberty. Where's the... Where's America? America? Oh, there it is. Go to middle tree. So, it's not going to be a fishing vessel. It's going to be a freighter. And it's going to be a Liberty. There we go. Recognize that. It's not moving. Zero velocity. Distance. Three thousand six hundred meters, and its course is approximately that. Right then, um, what do we got? We've got a T1 with LUT, a T5 which will hold back, a T1 and T3, and the rear of T3. Right. So what is the freighter depth of these? The draft is 7.2 meters. So let's get you magnetic flood. 7.2 meters. 7.5, there we go. Not just so far. Okay, fire tube two. Got a Greek? Is that Greek? Can't tell. We'll um, give that one a miss for the moment. Is there other large ones? We could have a look, pop at these, I suppose. Um, can't see a flag. Oh, yes, I can. What flag is that? Don't recognise that flag. Oh, went past it. Uh, Panama. Uh, okay. Got a nice canal, apparently. Um, I assume enemy. So on, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Get that recognized. Speed is zero. Distance. Alright, right, this one's locked in. What have we got? Uh, hold that T5. We'll go for the T1 in tube 4. Let's not send that down there. It's going to be impact. Fire. Torpedo away again. Another ship there. What have we got here? Okay, we've got a Dutch uh, ship here. That looks like a C3. Uh, freighter. We've got Fort Ship Liberty Class Moran, okay. Oh, okay. They said they don't have one of these. Interesting. We'll target that then. Say it's a troop transport, it's not. But we'll target the system. Give me a little bit more. 
So if it's green and white lines with a red cross, I would suspect that may have been a, a hospital ship, but it doesn't appear to be, so... Yeah, I think it's a C3 freighter. Get that locked in. It's going to be, again, about 96%. Oh, sorry, 91.6. Okay, let's get to one, which is T3. There, we'll spin around so we can hit some fire. Right, this was the one, wasn't it? Let's see if we get a strike on the first one. Yes. Nice. Well, hopefully that should be sinking because that was a nice magnetic shot. Uh, a good hit, and what is that? I don't know, some mystical thing is in the sky. Lots of... oh, god blimey. Flames are really um, causing issues. There we go. One ship sent to the bottom. Next one. That wasn't that one. I think the other one's gone. Oh, there, that's that one. Sinking slowly, and the next one would be... be this one, wouldn't it? Okay, that was a good hit, but um, nothing much happening there. So we might need to send another... Torpedo into that one, it doesn't seem to have any effect at all. There is a destroyer up there, but she's not making smoke, which is good. Um, I have to put another shot into that one. That is a Norwegian movie. There's the one we've hit. How's that looking? Oh, looks fine. Rather worryingly, that looks fine. That one is sinking, which is good. We need to put Torpedo into that, obviously. And then we've got oh hello we got we do have a uh, an escort coming out oh we've got somebody making a run for it past this destroyed ship here they may snag a ground I wonder with this Isles class Corvette do we use a T5 on that get rid of it and then we can sit here and um, pop away until we're out of torpedoes. That's probably what I'm, I'm thinking. Wow, look at all these countries. Um, right, zoom back as quick as you can. It's not going to go all the way around, so we've got to go all the way back. The west. There we go. There we go. Right. Uh, so it's a military ship. It looks like an Isles Corvette. Uh, it's not the flower class. Oh, generic Corvette. That's huge. Okay, it's not the flower class. Let's just let's just select it. It's not an art class, but um, it's not one of those. So let's just recognise that for the moment. Speed, we don't know. Just get a rough direction. Fire the T five. That should finish off that. Bit of a waste, but that's what T fives are for: is to um, get rid of escorts as well as tricky shots of our own right okay she's locked in let's get t5 flooded what have we got oh another t5 being loaded in a t3 and we got t3 okay fire tube 3 right let's pick um, this one 
Right, we've got all that logged in. Let's get tube uh tube two yeah, tube two. Finish this one off. Good, and that's that one gone. Oh, there's another Corvette on the roll. That one's sinking nicely. Right, we've got a Corvette steaming out now. One down. Hopefully, a torpedo is going to hit this one and sink this one pretty soon. Yes, nice. That should be that one down, shouldn't it? Yes, it's going to sink him beneath the waves. Perfect. Right. So. Corvette on the wobble. That's in there. Right. Let's target get this Corvette. Then we've got another T5. We might need to finish this one off. Interesting. Right. We fired the torpedo. It was turning this way. Now it's turned and it's heading, I think, for this ship uh, sailing through here. Which would be an interesting one. I think we've got another Corvette back here, right? So we need to finish off our kills and uh, potentially get out of dodge. Right, so we've got a T1 in tube two. Get that loaded. Fire it into this one. That should that be done. Happy days. What have we got there? T3 and another T3 being loaded. Okay, got another good hit on that ship. That's burning. It's a Greek ship there. This one, the Empire Conrad, is sinking, but still sort of swaying in the in the wind. Um, Jose Corvette heading that way. Yeah, we're oh, scary, right? Let's um first get down. Lots of things are happening, you can tell. Okay, and with that, uh, we're going to get out of here. The, the, the ships that we can sink, we've sunk. You can see it. Large freighter here under the uh, under the water. There's a lot of ships back there that you can see. All the warships are now coming to the party. They're all making a uh, full steam ahead, and they're coming this way. So, yeah, the ships we can sunk. We have, except that one. But um, yeah. What's that? That's another Dutch ship there. Hmm. That's the one we sunk in the background. But I believe there is. Yeah, a destroyer right there. So we are going to try and get our dodge and uh, eke our fuel out so we can get back across the uh, Atlantic back to home base.
So, a couple of weeks later, we sail back into our port in France. Campaign mission has been completed as requested. The attack on Aruba. You and your crew successfully completed the mission to strike the heart of the Allied oil operations on the islands of Aruba and Caracal. Your current planning and your careful planning and execution of the plan proved to be a major victory for Greek's Marine, disrupting the supply of oil and forcing the Allies to limit their operations. Your success as a U-boat skipper has earned admiration of your peers and the respect of your enemies. Well done, skipper. So we get 8,000 cash, 200 reputation boost, boost, yeah, boost, boost, boost. Um, and another milk resupply submarine, um, which is fantastic. Another milk cow. Happy days. And as we sailed up to New York Harbor and started popping them on the... Well, I couldn't go too much further. There were so many ships in that confined space. Uh, yeah. Um, so first of all, the SSAB Hammond was sunk. Sources inform us that this ship was headed from an unknown origin to an unknown destination with food in the cargo holds. Registered tonnage of 7,183 tons, registered in the USA. Next up we have sunk. Our intel tells us this ship had a registered tonnage of 4,253 tons and was transporting medical supplies from unknown origin to unknown destination port. It was registered in Panama. The Empire Conrad was sunk. Ship was registered tonnage of 2,255 tons. Was transporting medical supplies from New York to Liverpool. Well, it didn't get too far, did it? It was registered in the United Kingdom. Sunk. Ship was registered in the Netherlands. Was carrying tea from an unknown or origin to unknown destination. Gross registered tonnage was 7,756 tons. Happy days. So, um, 21,447 tons sunk on this patrol. 51 days and 14 hours at sea. That was a long one. Uh, distance travelled 14,763.7 kilometres. With it, we sunk a, a Liberty freighter, an Algo Algonquin? Algonquin class cutter. That's why we couldn't find it in the book. That was the um, uh, the corvette or the cutter that we sunk. Um, we got the freighter with the Panama freighter. We got the British um, freighter there, and we also got the the Dutch freighter, the C3 there as well. We went to Aruba. We destroyed. Well, they only needed three oil tanks. But we destroyed a lot more than that. We escaped from the area and we returned to port after a little jaunt up to the eastern seaboard of America. Right. Fantastic. So, we have ventured across the Atlantic. It is now within our our range, which is fantastic. We've got three milk cow resupply submarines. One which we um, touched on, which is in DQ7, wasn't it? Uh, which is near just sort of uh, east of the Caribbean Sea. Uh, and then the other two, I know we've got one up near north the American um, seaboard. I uh, don't know where this new one will be deployed, but um, we can certainly start heading across the pond on a few more occasions, which would be certainly interesting. Um, but as I say, we needed to get out of there because the corvettes were yeah, making steam and they were coming out and eventually they would hit us. There's only, there's only about 25 meters of water there, so it wouldn't have been too hard for them to find us and sink us. So uh, discretion is sometimes the better pass part of valor and um, we still got 20,000 21,000 tons of uh, shipping sunk on that quick little exploit as well so we're gonna leave it there for this time we'll get the ship and resupplied and reloaded with the torpedoes and we'll be heading out again next time thanks ever so much for watching take care I'll see you then bye bye